paano natin naalisin ang background noise sa ating video lesson. Hi there! It's me again, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo, Teacher Relang Welcome to another episode of Balik Escuela Specials. This series is especially made for you to help you better prepare for the new school year. In this video, matututo tayo kung paano tanggalin ang noise sa ating mga audio. So if you want to have better video lessons, keep on watching. Ang tutorial na ito ay meron lamang pong tatlong super easy steps. Step number one, download this software called Audacity. Audacity is a free audio software, so pwede po natin itong gamitin ng libre. How to download? Go to your browser and type www.audacityteam.org or simply click the link in my description box para di na kayo mahinapan maghanap. Piliin ang version na para sa device mo. So if you're using Windows, click Windows. If you're using MacBook, click Mac. In my case, I'm using Windows, so yun ang ating pipiliin. Once you have successfully installed the Audacity on your computer, it's time to edit your audio file. On your PC, click the Audacity shortcut icon. Pagka-click natin, ganito na po yung lalabas. Now, click File at piliin lamang po natin yung video file na gusto nating i-reduce yung background noise. Let's just wait for it to load. At ganito na po yung ating makikita. So, ito po yung audio file na na-extract mula doon sa video na sinilek natin kanina. I just want to let you hear yung tunog ng original na audio file versus yung tunog ng audio na na-process na. Okay, while listening, I also want you to look dito sa part na to. Kasi dito natin makikita yung level ng volume no, kung gaano kalakas yung, yung tunog. Dito sa unang part ng ating audio file, makikita natin na medyo flat, medyo flat line pa. No? Wala pa masyadong um, movement dito dahil wala pa naman masyadong vibration because hindi pa naman ako nagkasalita. Pero itong part na to, yung, dito natin maririnig yung noise profile. No? So let's listen to it. As you can notice, dito sa volume indicator natin, na yung palo ay hanggang dito, no? Mamaya, um, after nating ma-process yung um, audio, makikita nyo na mas bababa na siya. That noise is coming from my air conditioner. And I cannot turn it off while I'm filming kasi sobrang init po dahil... Uh, may mga ilaw na nakabukas, no? Dahil yung mga, yung mga lighting natin, hindi naman pwedeng wala. So, if you are having the same problem, you can resort to doing the step and reducing the background noise. So, paano ba natin yung gagawin? Uh, Ikiklik lang la lamang po natin yung part kung saan nandoon yung tunog na gusto nating i-reduce. One tip that I can give to you is that before you record or before you speak, allow a few seconds or maybe a minute para ma-capture nung device nyo, recording device nyo, yung background noise. So, ang gagawin po natin, isa-select natin itong part na to, yung unang part. To do that, click nyo lang po. Click and then drag. Ulitin natin. Click and then drag. Doon sa part na naririnig po yung background noise. So, dahil na-select na natin siya, click effect over here, and then select noise reduction. Next, get noise profile. Makikita nyo naman po dahil naka-blue yung button na yon. Pag kinuha po natin yung noise profile, ina-identify natin kung anong klaseng tunog ba yung i -re reduce natin sa buong audio file. Ngayon dahil nakuha na natin yung noise profile, isa-select na natin yung buong audio file. To do that, same process. Click, and then drag. Okay? Click, and then drag. But you can also just control A. Okay? And then do the same step earlier. Click effect, and choose noise reduction. This time, dahil tapos na natin makuha yung noise profile, i-select lang natin yung OK. 
Ayan, now applying noise reduction effect. Alam nyo, right now pala, uh, I'm just using my the microphone of my headset. And hindi ko na rin uh, na-apply sa part na to yung noise reduction. Kaya kung may narinig kayong konting noise, it's because I did not process this part of the audio. Ayan. So, as you can see, medyo uh, mas na-flatten, no? Yung line dito. And let's listen to it. Tingnan natin kung may meron bang improvement na nangyari. Ayan. So, Makikita natin sa volume indicator, kanina nandito siya sa negative 30, no? Pero ngayon nandito lang siya sa negative 48. And if you want to reduce the noise even more, you can just repeat the same process, no? Although, what I noticed there, teachers, kapag nasobrahan naman tayo sa pag-noise reduce, minsan ay nagkakaroon ng hissing na sound or medyo nagiging muffled na yung ating boses. So again, it also depends on the quality of your audio and nakaka-capture ba ng iyong device yung noise profile na gusto mong matanggal. Kaya nga, I said earlier, bago tayo magsalita, bago tayo mag-shoot, ay let's allow a few seconds or a minute para ma-capture ng device natin yung noise or noise profile. If you are enjoying this, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share sa inyong mga co-teachers na alam yung nangangailangan ng ganitong lasting content. The final step is to export the file. Save it on your computer. And add it to your video. So, kung ano man po yung video editor na gamit nyo, uh, doon nyo po i-import yung audio file na sinave nyo. In my case, what I'm using is Wondershare Filmora Go. Although, may bayad po ito and uh, ang annual fee niya ay nasa 2,000. But I think it's really worth it. Ngayon, i-drag lang natin yung imported na audio file na yon dito sa ating audio track. And proceed to editing your video. Hi there! It's me again, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo! If you want to have a separate tutorial on how you can use Filmora Go to edit your video, just comment below. That's it! Oh, di ba? Napaka simple lamang po ng mga steps. At remember that audio is a very important factor when we are doing lessons online. So, what are the other ways para ma-improve pa natin ang audio quality ng ating mga video lessons? Pag-usapan natin yan after this short break. We can do room treatment. If you have heard of the word soundproofing, ayun po yun. So, ito yung mga bagay na pwede natin gawin para ma-reduce, para ma-lessen yung mga unnecessary background noise na napipick up ng ating mga device. Ano-ano ba yun? Una, you may install soundproofing panels like this. This soundproofing panel or tinatawag din nilang soundproofing foam or, um, mat, soundproofing mat, ay nabibili natin online. Pwede ito mabili sa marketplace or kahit sa mga, you know, online shopping sites like Shopee. So, meron na tayong link niyan sa description box in case you want to purchase. What a soundproof panel does is, it absorbs all the echoes, all the other background noise. Another option is the use of curtains, especially thick ones or yung mga blackout curtains kasi yung mga ganong material talaga yung medyo makakapal and it does the same thing with the soundproofing panel it absorbs the unnecessary noise lastly you may add furniture sa inyong recording area yung tinutukoy po nating mga furniture ay yung mga sofa yung mga ganong klase ng upuan because essentially sofas are made with foam right diba sa loob may foam and then fabric so, dahil ganun yung material niya, it has the same purpose, no? It does the same job with the first two na pinag-usapan natin kanina. So, kung meron kayong sofa sa bahay or kung meron ka sa kwarto mo, good. Dahil matutulungan kanya na matreat yung room mo. If you find value in this video, pakishare naman mare, lalo na sa mga iba nating co-teachers dyan. Dahil hindi ko sila lahat maaabot if not through you. So, feel free to share sa mga teachers natin dyan na alam mong kailangan ng ganitong klaseng content. My question for you today is, 
Ano ang usual struggle mo kapag gumagawa ka ng video lessons? Comment it below. I want to hear from you. I'll see you again, syempre. Bye-bye!